So, um, there's something significant about the face of an enemy, passing day. When I see passing day, it, I'm automatically picking up the energy of someone who is not alive anymore. Um, when I open my feelings differently, so this is someone who may have different feelings than you. You may not see things um, eye to eye with this person. Um, you may have thought that with age there would come a mutual respect. So someone could be in like their 50s. Um, this could be $50, 50000 You know, um, there's something significant to do with 50. Um, so it could be that they're more than 50 years old. So they could be older than 50. And you would have thought that somebody would want to have improved their life as they got older. Um, you know, as they reached a certain age so that maybe somebody would mature. That may not be the case because learning has no meaning or is no meaning. It's not meaningful to somebody. So no matter what age somebody has reached, um, in this case, whatever this karmic is, your enemy, whoever that may be, they may be 50 or older and they may not care about improving their life. Um, they may not care about um, ascending or doing shadow work or higher learning. Someone could be stuck in their ways. And you may have thought maybe at one point you would come to a mutual agreement and just maybe like, you know, like let bygones be bygones kind of thing. Like let's agree to disagree. But that didn't turn out to be the case for somebody here. Um, and, you know, feelings may change when this person passes away. You may feel some sort of way. Like you may be expecting this person to pass away or feel like um, it's a burden that's going to be lifted off of you or, you know, you just can't stand this person and you may feel like you're going to be happy when this person passes, but there may be a change of heart and there may be something saddening about this person passing because they have, they have the opportunity to make something right before they pass and they chose not to. So keep that in mind. You know, feelings change, we change, we evolve, but somebody didn't want to learn the lessons. Somebody did not want to ascend, somebody didn't want to be on the lighter side of things. Um, so somebody was very stuck in their ways, and they were very dead set about this. <clears throat> and up until the, the bitter end, it looks like someone is going to be your enemy. So there may be some issues you may have to work through when this person passes. Um, your feelings may surprise you. You may like start crying or become emotional one day and you may not understand why. You're like, why? I hate this person or I didn't like this person. We didn't get along. So why am I having any kind of feelings about them? Why, are, why am I sad that they're passed? You know what? That they passed. You could be feeling upset that they passed because they had the opportunity to make something right with you and they chose not to. They didn't choose to learn from their mistakes. Instead, they chose to keep being who they are, which, you know, everyone has free will, so that is their, their prerogative. <clears throat> but you're going to feel some sort of emotions about it. Give it time. Everything is in divine timing. So something is going to work out in your favor. Just be patient. Everything is in divine timing. You may be like, hurry up. When is this person going to pass? Or hurry up. When is something going to happen? Everything is in divine timing. Somebody is thinking about intimacy with you as well. Intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Oh. So maybe <laughs> the, this can also be somebody who wanted to to be in a relationship with you or at least have an intimate encounter this could also be something completely different so just because that is kind of um you know the starting message doesn't necessarily mean that that's where we're going to end up okay i have to read the cards i have to read the energy so that's one situation um we have something going on here with divine timing and intimacy sexual chemistry something is going to happen where there's going to be a sexual encounter with someone and it also could mean that players are going to play and somebody may want to be intimate with you, someone who's older in age. There could be an age difference. doesn't have to be. Um, you both could be older in age. It doesn't matter what necessarily the age is. Um, but 50 did come out. So I feel like 50 is significant whether you're above or below that line somewhere. And someone's thinking about being intimate with you. But you may view this person as an enemy. And possibly with each passing day, another way I'm going to see this or another way I'm going to read this is you may view someone as an enemy or they may be afraid you view them as an enemy. With each passing day, your feelings may change and you may come to a mutual agreement to improve something um, because you may be learning that what your past beliefs were, what your past 
um, hang-ups were, what your past barriers were, have no meaning on what is now here. Maybe you guys have grown up and ascended to a point, both of you have gone through a growing period, and you've both possibly made improvements. So for some of you, the the enemy aspect thing, that, that could be a thing, that could that could still be true here. But we also have a situation where there's going to be an intimate encounter with someone that you may have viewed as your enemy. So uh, there's a loop that just got thrown in here. Someone is still figuring themselves out with sexuality. But when I see this card, I don't automatically assume that someone is struggling with their sexuality about being trans, gay, bi, straight, whatever. That's not what I automatically view this as. When someone is struggling with their sexuality and they're still figuring themselves out, it can also be, you know, from the way I read this, if someone is still trying to figure out whether they want to take some sort of action, whether they want to make a move, this could be whether or not they want to be monogamous or not. Um, this has to do with someone still figuring themselves out as to what they want to do sexually, how they want to possibly have a sexual encounter with the intimacy here. Someone could be um, plotting or planning on having a romantic rendezvous or sexual encounter here, and they're still trying to figure out how to make that happen. So, I don't... <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Let it go. Make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you now. So, um, there could be an intimate rendezvous, um, a sexual encounter happening. It just may be, um, in the works as to how this is going to happen. Everything's going to happen in divine timing. Make sure that you are open and ready for whatever is about to come. Okay? Feelings may have changed. Um, you know, maybe you were at odds with this person before, but maybe the sexual tension is just too great. You may have a soul connection, spirit connection. Um, there may be something that's drawing you two together, even if you never saw this coming. And, um, you know, the red string theory may be significant. Some. So let's get in here and see. There's definitely someone that wants to have a sexual encounter, an intimate encounter. <clears throat> you may have have to let go of, you know, something from the past. Someone may be concerned that they're not anything special, that they may be viewed as plain, that they're not beautiful. Um, so that may be another thing that someone is struggling with, um, you know, so the, someone's like self-confidence, self-doubt, and don't get in my comments starting your bullshit. I'm not saying everyone has self-esteem issues or self-confidence issues. I'm not saying that, so pipe down there, Chachi. I didn't say you did. Huh. <sighs> I, I, I hate that I have to say shit like that sometimes, but I really do. I really do. <laughs> and I hate that I do, but I do. Alright, anything else before we move on? Alright, I'm not getting anything else out of that, so let's move on. Friendship is essential to the soul. Someone may want to start out as friends or approach you as if they want to be your friends and then um, be your friend, not friends. Um, but someone may approach you in a friendship kind of manner or friendship kind of way. Um, this could be, you know, um, <clears throat> something that you find both interesting and intriguing. Like that's where a conversation may start. Someone may be trying to find a way to develop a friendship with you. And then the relationship can grow from there because someone may be confused as to, you know, whether or not this is going to be a fling, a one-time situation, a casual, or whether it's going to be like a romantic commitment or monogamous, something like that. Uh, but somebody wants to start out in a, as a friend, okay? Like in a friendship kind of way. Which is good, because some of the best relationships start out as friends. So, you know, there's something that's starting here. <clears throat> After all, tomorrow is another day. And that is in the reverse. So, someone may have 
felt like they have had missed their chance on finding like their soulmate or their their person their divine counterpart or their wish fulfillment someone may have feel like maybe they're felt like they're too old or they missed out on um you know having what they really wanted out of life so they have may have they may have felt that way in the past if you're a bird i'm a bird so someone may have matched up with someone who they really might not have as much in common with as they thought or maybe they drifted away from someone um somebody may have been trying to pretend to be into the same kind of things as you um so that there would be like a connection or a way to connect someone could be playing games i'm not gonna lie hi chuck you want to play someone could think that you have bad intentions or that you're going to hurt them Okay, so someone wants to start off as friends and they want to develop a friendship because they're possibly afraid that you're going to hurt them or you could be afraid that you're going to get hurt because um, you may have been single for a while, so you may be very cautious about this person. We're all pretty bizarre. Some of us are just better at hiding it, that's all. So there may be something kind of taboo about this connection. There could be an age difference, um, belief system differences, um, different family backgrounds, Whatever the case is, is nobody puts baby in the corner. And so somebody wants to take their shot, shoot their shot, and they may want to approach you. And like I said, there may be an age difference in Dirty Dancing. There was an age difference between um, Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey. So, you know, um, keep that in mind. <clears throat> it may be kind of like an opposites attract thing, but you may not be as opposite as you think you are. I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. So somebody wants to be loved for who they are, what they are. Somebody wants to be accepted as they are. They don't want to have to jump through hoops or change who they are or pretend to be something that they're not. So someone is tired of pretending to be something they're not. They may have a sexual kink or something. They're tired of pretending like they don't have what they really want or that they don't want what they really do that's going to make them happy. When you realize you want to spend your life with someone, you want it to start ASAP. So something could be happening really quickly. And this doesn't have to be a girl chasing a boy. This could be a guy, you know, um, making a proposal or some sort of offer to a feminine. But something, you know, is going to start kind of slow at first. And then it's going to pick up, like, at a ridiculous speed. You had me at hello. So someone may have felt like it was kind of love at first sight, but they may have been keeping it under wraps or keeping it secret. Somebody didn't let you know or let on to the fact that maybe you were interested in the same things. So, like I said, um, with this that came out, um, some of us are all pretty bizarre. Some of us are just better at hiding it. You didn't know that someone was into the same stuff that you are because they were hiding it. Well, nobody's perfect, okay? Nobody's perfect. Nobody's judging. Nobody is having, um, you know, preconceived notions of what's going to happen here. But you both are trying to figure this situation out. May the force be with you. Someone may have felt like they were out of control or lost control of their situation. Um, or they felt like they missed their opportunity here. Um, you know, with may the force be with you, I'm thinking of the, the lightsaber. Someone, oh God. Someone may be afraid that their lightsaber is not going to work. Um, or that they didn't have, like, something... Um, sexually that would please you someone may have been worried about being able to pleasure you or please you in a in a specific way and we're just gonna stop it at that for a moment you ain't heard nothing yet so there's gonna be an uncovering um i'm getting like possible fantasies um i'm getting a strong energy of like erogenous uh, possibly taboo um, things um, like pillow talk, things that are going to be kept private, things that um, you know you generally wouldn't talk about with just anybody. And this person may not have told anyone any of this stuff before, but they want to talk about it with you because they feel like there's some sort of bond there. And there is um, between you and whoever this is, there's some sort of connection. And feelings that neither one of you may have expected, but um, have developed possibly over time. Maybe you both have tried to ignore this. 
But there's something really interesting going on in this situation, okay? Um, for someone. Someone's not intimidated by it, though. Like, even though someone has their doubts, someone may be having their, you know, reservations, um, they may be still trying to figure out how they want to pursue this, how this would work out. Um, on an intimate level, they're not intimidated. Like, someone's up for the challenge. I'm not gonna lie. Someone's, someone's not intimidated. They're willing to shoot their shot. It's like, <laughs> I'll never know if I don't try kind of energy. So, someone is ready to take that leap of faith and at least see what happens, see where this goes. <clears throat> so, someone could be thinking about money finances at this time maybe they're worried someone could be worried that they don't have enough money or somebody is worried about finances and this person could want to help in some sort of way um so while someone's worried about finances money is on their on its way to them so whoever this is that's worried and focused about money, you have money coming towards you. Somebody was not in their life's calling. Somebody could have lost a job. So that could have been why someone was worried about their finances. Could have been why you were worried about your finances. So maybe you've been unemployed for a while. There could have been a job loss, something like that. So you kind of been worried um, about where your next meal is going to come from, your paycheck, something like that. Or just, you know, you're dependent on, you know, surviving day to day with not necessarily knowing where your money's coming from, but you could be receiving unexpected money or help with the Knight of Pentacles here. So if you're worried about it, you may not see this money coming in that's going to come in for you. It may be a surprise. You may be receiving unexpected help from this person. They want to be your friend after all. And I'm not saying you're looking for a sugar daddy or sugar mama or whatever, but, um, you know, there's this situation's not going to be without a perks. It's perks, okay? So, someone may have come to you with a slippery offer here, um, maybe because you were jobless or maybe you didn't have a job. Like, this person came to you as if they were trying to help you. Like I said, they wanted to be your friend. They wanted to start off slow. They're trying to figure this out, see how they feel, see how you feel. But there's a union here. There's a partnership. There's a union that's coming together. But it may have appeared as if it's a slippery offer because they were kind of being slick. I'm not going to lie. This person was being slick in how they approached you. And there may be a secret meeting. So, you know, they may have met up with you secretly, but they do admire you, okay? So they do admire you. There, at some point, there is going to be a meeting or there was a meeting where you met up with this person, had a discussion. Maybe they did help you out in some sort of way. Maybe they wanted to keep it a secret, but maybe it wasn't a secret. But they do admire you. And, um, you know, it's not that they're coming towards you with a slippery offer. They really do admire you. They have some sort of admiration for you. They just don't know if you feel the same way. And there's also an empress here. Um, so it could have been an empress or a feminine energy that lost their job. <clears throat> or that this person wanted to help. It could also be that there is a karmic feminine in the way who this person may have tried to build a legacy with or tried to build something with. Um, they could have lost their job, so they could have been spending more time at home, something like that. Like, there could be, if this person is in a relationship or situation, whatever the deal is here, um, somebody could have lost their job, so they're spending more time at home. So maybe someone, um, you know, there could have been a, a partnership that was in conflict regarding a situation this person was in or that they're dealing with that they need to get out of <clears throat> before they can come towards you but they may be um presenting something as if it's like a friendship kind of offer or something like that in the meantime before they can make you something else that's more solid but this is going to have someone in despair because there is a queen of wands energy here someone who is kind of non-committal and flighty <clears throat> So, they may be um, concerned that, um, you know, they could have been dealing with this empress, a mother, wife, lover, whoever this is. Um, someone's in despair about something here and a positive outcome. So, someone who is not held in high honor is in despair over a positive outcome and someone being the wounded warrior and someone helping them. So, there's a feminine energy here who's not happy about this situation. 
because this person was trying to keep heavy burdens on you, placed on you. Um, this could have been somebody that you were partnered up with. This could be an interfering mother figure, um, whether it's yours, theirs, um, you know, whatever. There's a mother figure here that was in a union with someone, and this was placing heavy burdens on the situation. And there was illusions about somebody being a thief. So someone could have gotten accused of stealing someone's man or something like that. <clears throat> Balance is going to be restored. Temperance here. There is a, a coming together, a family here, a happy family. So balance is going to be restored regarding a family unit and a happy family. Something is going to be made right or made whole. A family is going to feel like it's whole or something is going to be coming together. It could be the blending of, a, you know, some families, two families possibly. <clears throat> So something was stopped. Something something was put to a stop with the Three of Pentacles here. Some sort of gossip or bullshit talk may have been put to an end or it's going to be put to an end or there could have been a group of people here that were talking, speculating, um, talking shit about someone trying to steal something, steal someone's family, possibly being like a home wrecker, um, something ridiculous. You could be spending time alone. You could be in hermit mode. But that's not going to stop you from getting this Ten of Pentacles. It's not going to stop you from getting family security, family stability, and having a happy, loving, caring home. Like, it's not going to stop that. But somebody was trying to stop this for you. <clears throat> Once again, you're going to have this because there's a divine union that's coming together. There was a jealous-ass female, this envious, jealous-ass, mentally, emotionally unstable Queen of Cups here. Someone's rushing in with the truth about a partnership, about wanting to partner up with you, about wanting to work with you, about wanting to be in a relationship. And you are their manifestation. Like, you're their dream come true. And now they have the opportunity to make something happen. And this is a message of concern for somebody. Like, somebody has been waiting for this opportunity to hook up with you, to be with you, to have their shot, um, to take the shot in the dark because... They really do, like, they're really into you. Like, you're kind of, like, their fantasy person, okay? That's just the energy I'm picking up on. This is like a fantasy come to life, whatever that may be. No judgment. I'm not going to try to pry into that. But someone didn't view someone as a treasure, okay? This Queen of Cups didn't value what they had. Um, you know, they didn't see you as a treasure, or they didn't see this person as a treasure. Um, whatever the situation is... They could have lost a treasure. They never had the treasure to begin with. There's financial balance that's being restored here. And that is a problem for someone. Because like I said, with this relationship, it also comes perks. And I'm not saying it's necess like a, it's not like a prostitution thing. Like it's not like a sugar baby kind of thing. But <clears throat> whatever situation this is, there's, there's going to be like an equal mutual respect and a mutual understanding. Um, like an equal give and take kind of thing. And that is your business. Whatever situation this is, it is your business. Um, someone that you dated or, you know, this Queen of Cups could be with someone. Um, someone could have went towards someone else with the Knight of Cups and offered them a relationship. And you could be coming out of the cold. So this Queen of Cups could be upset that you want to go towards someone else. Like they could have chosen someone else over you because they didn't value you, treasure you. You may be going towards a different divine femme or a different divine masculine, however the situation is playing out. But somebody really didn't, you know, appreciate what they had or they didn't have the treasure. They weren't the treasure. And someone is willing to accept this or accept the situation or accept you for who you are as you are. No restrictions, no restraints, not like this person's not going to try to change you or force you to be a specific way. 
<clears throat> but there is a tower moment that's coming because there is an emperor here who's going to make a bad decision possibly possibly a reckless decision with some sort of communication and it could put them on the wrong side of the wheel of fortune so i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna say that this is not without its risk i'm not saying this is not a risky commitment i'm just telling you what i'm reading so i'm not saying that this is a, a great idea i'm not saying this is a perfect idea i'm not saying anything <laughs> Y'all have free will. I'm just reading the cards, man. I just read the cards. I just read the cards. I just read the cards. <laughs> someone's going to walk away. Um, and someone's going to have the strength and courage to walk away. From an unproductive situation, um, a bullshit situation. Um, so there could be a Queen of Cups here. Um, you know, that's going to... You know, if this emperor, if their decision was to choose a queen of cups over a divine femme, then they can't get mad when you move on with somebody who is going to honor you and care for you and give you what you need, whether it's a commitment or not. Maybe you both want something casual. Like, that's that's y'all's business. Like, uh, I just wish people would stay out of people's businesses. However, um, there's an emperor here that you were connected to. Otherwise, they wouldn't be showing up in your energy. Or there's a queen of cups here you were connected to. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in your energy. You were one or the other, connected to one or the other, however the situation goes. Um, but someone's going to have the strength and courage to walk away from something regarding a tower moment when something is, is something's going to blow up here. I'm not going to lie. There's going to be a message of concern. There may be questions and there may be answers and someone may not like the answers that they get. But that's not, you know, that's not your problem, um, you know. If the other parties, even if it's like a third party situation, if y'all three are happy together, like if this is like a poly situation, whatever the situation, that's between you guys. It's a little different when it's accepted or, you know, like when someone knows about it, um, you know, like that's, that's not our business. That is not our business. There's going to be a period of rest. After a long, sorrowful period of time here, someone's finally going to get to rest. Um, they're going to be feeling comforted. They're going to be feeling safe. And, you know, maybe that's all someone wants is to, like, be safe, cuddle, have a friend. You know, maybe they don't want, you know, all the bullshit drama that comes with, you know, I've been married before, so I, I know what comes with marriage, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying, you know, you're against marriage. I'm not saying you're for marriage. I'm just saying whatever situation this is, it's a mutually acceptable thing for the involved parties. Now, if there's these parties who were past people, karmic people who are sticking their nose in your business and they're meddling and all that, and they're not happy about it whether they're connected to these people, connected to you still, maybe it's your baby mama, baby daddy, who like to, you know, meddle in your business. Whatever the situation, that's not your problem. <clears throat> but we do have a king of pentacles here. And someone did lie with the page of swords. So somebody was lying. And someone could have been lying to stop this king of pentacles from going towards their divine femme. Not gonna lie. This king of pentacles could be wanting to live in the same house. Um, as a divine femme, this king of pentacles could be getting a house, moving, changing residences. There's a king of pentacles that's going, um, you know, there's something significant here with a house, whether they're purchasing, purchasing a house, moving into a house, or they want to move into a house with their divine counterpart, whatever the cause is. You know that show Three's Company? I don't know. Maybe it's going to be a situation like that. I don't know. That's your business. I just read the energy. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> I really don't. Some stuff is TMI. But someone's pissed off. So someone lied. They're pissed off because this is happening. And the decision has been made that someone's going to take swift action to help you. And, or them. Um, you know, whether it's you or you're helping someone else here. Someone didn't view you as a treasure. Okay. Um, somebody lied. Uh, about you being a treasure or having a gift or having talents here <clears throat> and you're a high priestess so there there is a betrayal here 
with a liar, a queen of swords here. So there is a lion-ass female that tried to betray someone here by telling lies, being cold-hearted. Um, they, they are jealous and envious of someone's gifts and talents. But, you know, you're going to get the offer that you've been waiting for. And you were betrayed. Someone was betrayed by a karmic. So if your ex chose a karmic over you and this person lied about being like you or copying you, trying to imitate you to get whoever this person was, your ex, whatever, it doesn't matter. That's not your problem. You're moving on to the Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot. Someone's rushing in with the truth and it's laying something to rest. You've healed from a heartbreak. Someone didn't work on shit with you. They left you out in the cold. They're going to be in despair because all they did was cause you burdens. And so you're not interested and they chose the karmic path. That's fine. That's good. Now mind your business. You and who the, the person you chose, you can stay in your lane. You know what I mean? It's really not that complex. It's really not. Getting the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to have stability. You're going to have finances. You're going to be okay. Somebody did betray you. Like, somebody betrayed you, you know? They talked shit, they lied. You know, they were cold-hearted. Whatever the situation, there was a betrayal. And that's fine, but they can go on with their lives. They rushed in with a lie, with some sort of communication. So somebody was communicating with someone, <clears throat> possibly about how to steal a gift, how to take a gift, take something that didn't belong to them. So somebody was trying to betray another person with some sort of communication and some sort of lies in order to take this, something that someone held valuable to them, to steal something that didn't belong to them. And someone could also have been upset to find out that someone wanted to take their wand and give it to someone that they're attracted to. You know what I'm saying? Like, someone was trying to interfere with, you know, this problem. Someone's watching, and there's a tower moment coming for this person who rushed in with some lies and some bullshit. But they're watching to see if something's working. They're watching possibly to see if you receive this money yet. You're good though. Like you're good. You're at your nine of pentacles. You're getting some sort of award, recognition. Um, this union, this ace of pentacles that I feel is coming to you. It's going to put you at your ten of pentacles. There were secrets that someone was keeping. And they were on the wrong side of the wheel of fortune as long as they kept those secrets. Whatever they were hiding. The betrayal. So someone was hiding a situation regarding a betrayal from you as if you didn't know. You don't give a shit because you're moving on to calmer water. You know that they created an injustice for you because you had to heal from it. And there's an emperor that wants to help heal you. And I'm getting that sexual healing. Um, <laughs> let's get it on. <laughs> I'm hearing let's get it on and sexual healing. I'm hearing like someone is having some... There's an emperor here that's having some memories. They're thinking about making new memories. I mean, they are daydreaming. They're th they're fantasizing hardcore. They have some they have some emotions about you, um, you know. And somebody was just pissed off about your gifts, and they created a financial imbalance for you. The six of pentacles in the reverse because you have some gifts and you have some talents that someone could have been trying to prove you wrong. There's a big transformation coming with this death and rebirth. I don't know what to tell this person, like, you know, somebody was trying to stop someone from revealing a secret and from taking some sort of action. Someone may have known that this person wanted to come towards you, friend, family member, relative, whatever, your ex, your baby daddy, um, this could be their friend, their relative, whatever. Um, but they, they were trying to stop this secret from coming out or from them approaching you with this secret or taking some sort of action. It's like they didn't want this person to act on how they felt. But they missed the boat. They chose someone else. Why can't you be happy? That's what I don't understand is why is someone trying to see block you? When, you know, that's your business. It really is. Your sex life is your sex life. I mean, I just don't understand why someone, why someone's so concerned with whether you're getting any or not and who you're getting it from. Oh, someone wasn't suffering. They, they were not suffering. 
Or maybe they are. Someone could be suffering. Your ex could have been acting like they weren't suffering, but, or whoever this is. Okay. Um, I don't want to necessarily say your ex, but someone acted as if they weren't suffering, but they really were. Good cops, good law officials are significant. If you knew what I did in your sibling, brother, or sister. So, I don't know. Maybe you're going to hook up with your ex's brother, sister. I don't know. Maybe you did. Um, someone could be in law enforcement. I I don't know, man. I don't know. That's your business. <clears throat> uh, someone is saying they never cheated on someone here, but they have a secret lover. And someone's secret lover um, could be spiteful, or someone could be being spiteful because they know about a secret love situation. So, someone may be saying, I never cheated on this person, that person, but someone may know that there's a secret love situation going on here. They slept with someone you don't know, so someone is being spiteful, they slept with someone you don't know. Someone here is crying because someone was, a, you know, a bag full of chips, bag full of air. There was no substance behind someone's offer. Someone was just doing something to be spiteful. Um, and they lied about you. You know, so someone was lying. Someone could be just trying to sabotage you. You know, trying to take credit for your work. Someone doesn't think it's a big deal, that it's not serious, that there's not big consequences. But someone's gaslighting you into trying to make you think that something is your idea. Or they're trying to get you to, like, take some sort of action. I don't know. Someone was a gold digger. Someone's listening to rumors and return to sender. So someone ended up with a gold digger. Um, you know, they're not happy with their situation. So they ended up with a karmic femme who's like a liar. They're cold hearted. They just want money. Um, and you know, someone's, someone's hearing rumors about themselves and someone could have been calling a divine femme this. You did your return to sender. You sent that shit back. Something's going to be exposed about them. Like, people who are meddling in y'all's business, the shit's backfiring, and it's going to hit them hard. Like, if they're trying to open up a can of worms for you, that shit is going right back, and they just screwed themselves, you know? Like, for real. A group of people could have been involved in something, in a gold digging situation. It could have been a group of people, a family... Someone's going to fall for the trap. Like, someone someone fell for the trap. Was that before or after you got your rocks off? I'm just asking. Like, you know. <clears throat> someone drives by your house. So someone tripped. Someone could trip and fall in love. And, you know, someone's going to fool around and fall in love. You know? I fooled around and fell in love kind of song. Yeah. Someone's going to fuck around and find out, for real. Someone thinks that, you know, like, someone really does have feelings and emotions. And if this is a secret love affair, secret rendezvous, whatever situation this is, there may be real feelings that develop from this. And, um, you know, or there may be, like, one-sided feelings or whatever, I don't know. But just proceed with caution, you know. You live and you learn. Someone could be trying to catfish you or gaslight you or trying to trap you into a situation chip to see if you're going to fall for it. You know, someone someone may have bad intentions. So you're going to have to use your intuition because MNO or P, September and July could be significant. Someone's playing with fire. So someone's initials could be MNO or P. Something significant could have happened or is going to happen in September and July. Um, that could be the months of somebody's birthdays. Um, so, you know, someone's playing with fire. Be careful. It's easy to get burned. Something could be happening in the next 24 to 48 hours. There's something significant regarding October and a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So someone's birthday could be in October. Someone could be a water sign. Halloween could be significant. Um, like I said, I feel like someone's birthday could be in these times as well. Someone is going to be crying at a distance, crying once the secret is revealed. So, you know, someone could be upset because they're playing with fire. And, um, you know, Aries Leo Sag could be significant on a Tuesday in the spring. You know, with a Scorpio. 
And then I have an August and Thursday that could be significant. So, you know, just be careful. Just be careful. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But, you know, I give you the information. Do with it what you will. No matter what side of this you're on. Whether you're the jilted lover, you know. Whether you're getting done wrong. Whether you're the one doing wrong. Whether, you know, something is innocent. Maybe it's just no one's business. But someone's going to be sad because somebody didn't err on the side of caution, better safe than sorry. So someone is going to be sad in this situation um, because someone didn't err on the side of caution. So if somebody was like a sneaky link or something like that, um, March could be significant. April could be significant with an Aquarius at the end of the day. Someone's going to get caught red-handed. It's almost chomping at the bed to whoop someone's ass. I'm not going to lie. Um, someone's going to get their wake-up call or get a, a call or wake-up call. Um, to avoid someone like the plague. So someone's going to get some sort of information, communication. It could even be you getting a dream message. Be careful. Pay attention to your dreams. Someone at the end of the day, like someone's going to get caught red handed doing something. And someone is going to be like chomping it. Someone's going to like possibly get want to get physical with someone when they find this out. No matter who they are. Even if their energy didn't come out. Someone wants to whoop someone's ass. Uh, because someone was not cautious about what they were doing or they didn't think about somebody before they were doing it This could have been secretive like if this was a third party that someone was trying to keep hidden this may backfire This has to do with someone like opposites attract I mentioned that earlier so someone you know who may you may have thought was your opposite um, you know, someone judged a book by its cover and there may be a, a, a very sexual attraction or, you know, once something gets started, it's going to be hard to put that out. The flames of passion burn bright. Okay. There's a lot of sexual energy in this reading. I am so not going to lie. Um, so if you're going to fuck around and find out with something casual and y'all catch feelings or there's something that, um, happens that maybe shouldn't happen. Like, like I said, this could be a taboo situation where, you know, maybe you shouldn't be doing this kind of thing. It could, it can really blow up and someone's going to get caught and, um, someone, yeah, it, it may not end well for some people. So just proceed with caution, man. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but just, you know, do whatever. I just, you know, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Uh, there's a cycle that's broken with a Taurus here. So there's something that's ending with a Taurus or that ended with a Taurus. Someone is just too different, too opposite. Someone, um, you know, someone could be walking away from a Taurus or a Taurus could be walking away from something. But someone wants to take their shot in the dark with this and, you know, that's okay. But just be careful. Make sure everyone understands that there could be consequences. All right, person, place, or thing. The letter E could be significant. O. K. S. Eskimo. Eskimos could be significant. Eskimo pies. Y. Uh, someone feels like they're soaring through the sky. Someone feels sky high. Like someone is just, someone doesn't give a damn about the consequences. They're going to take this risk. They don't care who finds out about it. P, someone's last name could be Poe or Poe could be significant. P-O-E, Edgar Allan Poe could be significant. Um, I'm hearing romantic tragedy and now I'm hearing Shakespeare, like, you know, like a Romeo and Juliet kind of thing, like a forbidden... Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know, man. Ex, your ex could be significant. So this could be someone in your ex's family or someone that knows your ex. Like, this is T. Someone views you as, like, an extraterrestrial, as, like, you're an alien. Um, they can't fight their feelings, though. Like, they may feel like you put some sort of spell work on them, and it's not. It's just, like, you... Your sexual attraction, I'm not going to lie, whoever you are, your your attraction is so, so strong. I'm getting like that wad big package energy, like to the max. Like someone is so drawn to you sexually that I don't know if like that's always been a thing for you. But um, 
like it may have increased like the more you ascend the the higher you get the more powerful you get the more intense your sexual energy is and someone can't fight it like man you're dangerous so be careful i'm gonna caution you your shit is dangerous and if you do sleep with somebody they may become very easily addicted to you i'm not gonna lie so just be careful with how you use your energy don't weaponize it <laughs> i don't mean to laugh but just be careful like um you know v um just just be careful and be kind you know so i have x t v s k y p o e and that includes you dudes too you know just be careful you know men women however you use your sexuality or you know people can easily become addicted so be careful if you don't want someone like calling you over five seconds or addicted to you know what you got going on you know then don't let them have that first taste because i'm just saying <laughs> um something could be like where it's mutually addictive and you may become addicted to each other and if you are a third party there third if there's a third party situation going on that's what's going to get y'all caught so use you know proceed with caution whatever situation you're in all right hope this helps have a good day